How's it going, YouTube? Kind of a uh, hypothetical story slash uh, AR maintenance video today. Uh, let's just say you uh, just brought home uh, an AR-15 that you bought for your wife. Just like this one. If I can get it in the frame. Or your girlfriend. Or whomever. And after they're done loving on you and squeezing you and nearly breaking your neck from hugging you so tight that they're just so pleased that they get a brand new rifle. Can't you see your wife doing that? Uh, before you go out and let them shoot it, what do you got to do? Field strip it and clean it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, main purpose of uh, doing that is there are uh, when they put these things together they, they put them together with uh, machine lube and uh, uh, that's not considered gun lube all the lubricants that they use to machine all the parts are still on it all the chemicals and shit uh, it's just bad medicine we don't want that on our stuff so uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, take uh, this M&P that I proudly bought for my wife. And she was just stoked, can't tell you. Uh, we're gonna take it apart. Uh, actually, it's not a new rifle, uh, but we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna uh, show you uh, what you need to do before you start firing bullets through a brand new gun like this, okay? We uh, point the camera in a different place and we'll get down to it. Okay, uh, this is a no tool operation. Uh, first thing you want to make sure is that the uh, bolt is all the way forward. And if it is cocked, I'm going to safety check this because I'm about to pull the trigger. Uh, squeeze the trigger. When uh, you want to hit this punt, the rear takedown pin and the front takedown pin. Push those all the way out. Then turn the gun over. Pull them out all the way till they click and the lower receiver will fall away from the upper receiver. And you'll notice that the uh, dust cover has opened. Close it. Take your charging handle, pull it out, about yay. Pull the bolt out of the gun. Set the upper receiver aside. Uh, you can see that this has absolutely no lubricant on it whatsoever. Uh, the bolt is completely dry, or pardon me, the, uh, yeah, the bolt, duh, is totally dry. That's bad. I need to get that lubed up. So the first thing you want to do to get in there is, uh, this pin right here. You just grab that with the fingernail or, uh, whatever you have handy. Just kind of pull it out a little ways so you can grab it. Pull it out. Turn it on its bottom, the firing pin falls out, then uh, push the bolt all the way to the rear, see this cam pin in here, turn it 90 degrees in either direction, that will allow you to pull it out, out from uh, underneath the uh, gas key there. At this point the bolt should just pull right out. Uh, first thing you want to do with this, is, especially if it's a brand new gun, is uh, take a cloth, wipe it all down, get all the crap off of it, all the machining, lube, and whatnot. So it's nice and pretty. Get in all the areas. You might even uh, examine it. Uh, make sure there aren't any filings or anything like that. You could take a, uh, like a brush and uh, just kind of clean out these grooves here. Those grooves match up to the uh, slots in the uh, chamber of the rifle and those need to be nice and uh, sediment free. And It would be bad to have uh, any kind of loose uh, machine filings or whatever in there. Okay, so you'll notice in the back here these are the, uh, the gas seals. Uh, what I want to do is take good high quality lubricant of your choice. 
uh, I happen to use uh, this. Uh, it takes just a drop or two of this. And that's a brand new bottle and nothing's coming out of it. Where is it? There we go. Just take a drop of this and set it on there. A little blob. And just work it with your fingers. And then the excess that you have on your fingers, just kind of rub it around on the bolt. So it should be nice and shiny, like that. Replace it. Actually, take a look down inside that, uh, in the bolt carrier. Make sure there's nothing nasty in there. Uh, you might want to run a patch through it if you see anything gross. Uh, you don't necessarily have to lube that up too much because most uh, respectable bolts are uh, either chrome lined or uh, uh, coated with something that's real ultra smooth. So you replace this, just slide it right on in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, make sure that uh, if you're looking down, this would be the back towards the buttstock. That's obviously facing downrange. You want to make sure that your uh, extractor, let me pull this back out. I'll show you the extractor is this part right here. This uh, little cutout. You want to make sure that if you're looking at the bolt like this, carry your key up, that that extractor goes to the right. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get the cam pin back in, uh, and you're going to need that in. Uh, second thing you want to do is make sure that the cam pin is free of any debris. Uh, also, just get just like a tiny drop on there, and then wipe it off with your fingers. Uh, just that net needs to be nice and lubed. So you'd uh, just slide that back in the same way you got it out. And then uh, once you have it in there, turn it back 90 degrees in either direction and pull the bolt forward. Okay. And you uh, examine your firing pin. Do the exact same thing. See, it's pretty repetitive shit. Uh, clean it off. Uh, there's two schools of thought on uh, greasing up your firing pin. I just like to have, you know, there's enough oil on your hands at this point. You just rub it. That's all you need. You really don't even need that much, but steel on steel, I like to, anything steel on steel, I like to have lubed up. So you just, uh, you see that? You just drop it in. You see the hole down in there? Just bloop, goes right in. Uh, make sure it's all the way forward. Then you take your uh, firing pin, retaining pin, and uh, pop it right back in that hole. Uh, if you meet resistance on the other side here, don't try and shove it in there. Give it a little twist and push at the same time. But uh, you don't want to mess up that pin because uh, you might end up breaking your firing pin or something to that effect. That's bad medicine. Okay, uh, on the bottom of the bolt you'll notice these two areas on either side and right here of center. You got this part, this part, and this part. This is where the bolt rides along the bottom of the t upper receiver. Uh, hit that with a little lube. Why not? Steel on steel. Can't hurt. Just a drop on each surface and just kind of rub it. You know, this is assuming this gun's brand new. Again, you know, once you've shot uh, these rifles, they kind of start self-lubricating after they break in, but uh, you don't want a ton on there, but just, you know, something that uh, you can call a smooth surface. So that's about it for the bolt. Uh, the last thing I would do uh, definitely is pull the, uh, what the hell is that thing called? Come on, John. Uh, pull the uh, buffer out of here. So there's a little, this little pin down in there. Can you see it? It's right there. It holds the buffer in. You can see the little round thing down there. Push that pin down while you're holding the buffer. And, well, looks like I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Uh, hold that pin down and the buffer will come out. And spring. Uh, the buffer is not that important of a part, 
uh, but I, what I what I normally do is uh, take some uh, break free CLP or something like that in a rag. I'll soak the rag with it a little, you know, a couple of squirts, and then take that oily area and work the spring in through it, just so the spring isn't dry. Uh, inside that aluminum tube. It's not the most uh, smooth surface in the entire world. Uh, so, you know, this will help a bit. So you get that lubed back up, uh, work the spring back in there like that until you get it about most of the way. Take your uh, buffer and just push it solidly. It'll hang up in there, won't come flying back out at you. Uh, that's really about it. Um, you know, if you want to get nuts, you could also uh, add some lube down in here where the bottom of the bolt rides. Uh, but I don't think you really need that, you know. Um, that should be enough. So you go out and shoot it a few times, uh, bring it back in, and repeat that a few times before you can expect that uh, brand new rifle to be broken in. So anyway, that's about it. Uh, we'll put this guy back together really quick. Exact opposite and reverse. Opposite and reverse. No, it's just the reverse. So you take uh, your bolt, key side down, place it in this little slot in the charging handle. And, oh, I make a mistake here. You have to pull the bolt out so that the cam is flush against the end. Then you drop it in, otherwise it won't go in there. Everything should just slide right in nicely until it clicks. Then you take the front part, the most forward part on the uh, receiver, meet it up with the first takedown pin slot. Go ahead and close it. Then this should just clamshell closed, like this, and then just push the next pin closed, and you're good to go. Wasn't that easy. So that's about it for that video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful. Take care, guys.